Hello fellow tributes, this is Catching Fire 3 and I just wanted to say that Daedalus X64 actually does work on the new 3DS XL and probably the new 3DS, I don't know, this is the new 3DS XL but it only works with certain ROMs so if you see there, those are the ROMs that I tested out except for Legend of Ganon so I need to do that one, but Waluigi 64 and Super Mario 64 work fine. So ROM hacks do work on this, but as you see from, uh, you can see Ocarina of Wa, or Wa Ocarina of Time as I like to call it. The gameplay isn't too slow, but the music... For the beginning screen, it's all fun and dandy. Everything is is great. Uh, it looks it looks like it should, especially the Waluigi model on it. So let me just put in my name, which you have to use the circle pad for. But of course, who would want to play Ocarina of Time on a 3DS if they, for instance, have it on the 3DS already, which I do, but I wanted to download this again. But so far, I've gotten this ROM hack to work, the Waluigi one, but the, the first cutscene and when you look in there, it doesn't look too great, as you can probably see right now. Um, while Luigi looks like he doesn't have a face right now, but that's only because of the graphics don't quite work on his face, so his face isn't like a 3D model. Here we go. Here's an example of it running slow. It plays fine, but the music is a little grainy, if you ask me. There's, it's really, I, I've played this game before, but that's the same as um, Mario 64 for the N64. Those, these two work. And the only thing about them that doesn't work right is the music and the sound effects. Because in Mario 64, you can run, or you can run, and it runs fine, the only thing is the music. And I even tried to play Mario Odyssey 64, that one runs slow. So I guess the more that's in it, the less likely you are to be able to play this without it being slowed down. Like, um, people have had problems with games in the past due to this emulator, and it has not been updated a lot. But, you can still download this emulator. Yeah, especially for the 3DS. All you need is custom firmware, and this is not a video on how to do that, of course. This is just a review of how good this specific game plays really so like listen it's it's a little grainy and other times it just doesn't work outright very fast and the if you play the original, the graphics will probably look better for your player character, but since I'm using 
Ocarina of Time with Waluigi added. His uh, face doesn't look quite right. I don't know what that's about. But other than that, you should be able to. You should be fine if you can look past the little, like, mistakes that the 3DS has when it comes to emulating it. Like, when I first saw that, I thought his head was on backwards. No, that's just. His face is not showing up properly, and that's his hair, you see. You can see the back of his head when you should be seeing his face because that's just how the texture is. And as I said, this this will always happen. But of course the cutscenes are a little better. Here it is. See the music slow, I hope you guys could hear that. But she's running perfectly fine, at least if I remember correctly. And you can climb down here and see how fast you can run. You can Z target as well. And it runs very smoothly. Maybe a tad bit slower than the actual, like, if you were to use the uh, emulator on the computer. But it definitely works. Let's go on to the next ROM. Okay, so this one, if you can guess... That's how the music goes. Of course, I can't fix that. There's no fixing that, but the hand moves around pretty smoothly. The music here is fine and so is her talking, so that's good. And this cutscene, I don't see any difference from the N64, although it c could be like, a f like one second, maybe half a second longer because of the fact that, well, it's on the 3DS. Even though it may be a new 3DS, if you do have custom firmware on your older, an older version of the 3DS, uh, like the original model, it's actually probably not going to work. But to... So the A and B buttons are to do what you usually do in the game, jump and attack, see? But what gets a little weird is that if you press X, you can crouch. But if you're on a new 3DS, of course, there's the Z ZR button, and that works just as fine. The R button does what it would do in any of the games. The arrow pad doesn't do what you'd expect it to. But uh, other than that, the text boxes are good. Um, the button presses are fluid. All I have to do is look in a level to see if it gets slowed down. Uh, slowed down. So I actually don't know about that. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. I guess it works fine. There's no problems. But, for instance, if you're running Banjo-Kazooie like I've tried before, including today when I'm recording this, it may not appear in your game will crash but it won't like it'll soft lock which means you have to fully reset I think that's what soft locking is but you'd have to fully reset like, like press the button hold it down and you should be good uh, Waluigi works as well 
That was like the first thing I did. But there's really no problems other than depending upon the game. The game might not load. And and sometimes it will, like like Banjo Kazooie loaded. But when I went to actually try to select a game file, when I pressed start it crashed. So just pick your games wisely. And if you guys want me to show you some other games for the N64, raw hacks or regular games that you normally find, just comment down below or email me at the email, whatever. And um, with suggestions on what you want to do, what you want me to do, and I'll try each and every one of them. Or at least get to them. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more, as I already said. Subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor. See ya! Okay, sorry I'm back. Um, I forgot to mention the bottom screen actually, for instance, has save slots, but this is the um, menu. All you have to do is tap. On it and there's load state save state close ROM which lets you close out of the ROM to click a new one and options and with the options is trim skip and toggle audio all you have to do to get out of that is wait so yeah that's all I forgot I forgot to add the glitchiness of ROM hacks at least for uh, Legend of Zelda. This is what it looks like. I may be playing the Ganon one, but this, trust me when I say this is also what it looks like for Waluigi Ocarina of Time, you know. So yeah. Don't play overly complicated ROM hacks. Like, like this one, for instance. He actually does walk slower. This is... Uh, again and letting the Gana again and augering of time and basically this ROM hack has you play as a style kid as a child and um, again as an adult and it is actually slower than Ocarina of Time Waluigi edition so it all depends on the ROM just here to confirm that but it's not too slow unlike other games and when I say it's glitchy the graphics are pretty glitchy I'm not sure how this is for regular Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time but it's definitely a mess where you go into places just a heads up hey check out what else I didn't mention that's doing nothing nothing at all it, hold on. It's... I can move to it. But nothing... Oh wait, whoa, I was pressing up there. But down doesn't even work. Well, let's see if you can... No, because it's a black DS. But I am clicking on it. Well, I would not recommend... Playing Legend of Zelda on this. Um, but if somebody can tell me how to change the controls or how to get that to work, please let me know. One, another last thing before I end the video is I figured out how to, um, like originally as you saw before, it, I thought it was the D-pad. This will only work with the 3DS the new 3DS because what you're supposed to do is the new 3DS's C-Stick and it should work it's kind of difficult to use especially in um whatchamacallit uh Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time because sometimes when you press a certain direction It'll think you're pressing down or up. So, 
play at your own risk. Damn boy, that nut look ain't looking right. You ain't looking right, boy.